Hello everyone, this is Unraveled, or RAV for short. This is episode 2 of our new Pokemon Snap Let's Play. So we're going to go ahead and just go straight into research for this episode. Uh, we'll go to the lab afterwards, but I want to see what new features are unlocked after completing it once. Are you headed out on another expedition already? Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do before your research. You can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points anything and points out anything unusual. Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. Basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're going to get. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Okay. So we're testing out the scan feature, I guess. Okay. Basic button layouts. Okay. So here we go, pressing X. Yes. Of course, how could I miss it? Okay. Okay. Did you see the pointer change its name? Hmm. Hmm, okay. Yes, sure thing. Okay, so hold X. Okay, the Neo won this vehicle is essential for your Pokemon research. Hey, Professor, explanation's all done. Thank you, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. So basically, from what I understand, the scan is helpful for telling us what information there is, as well as making Pokemon interact in different ways. Uh, okay, so we can take pictures during the day. You can change the research level to level 1 and 2. We're definitely going to stick with level 2, I think. Landscape photos taken by Rita can be seen in the lab. They don't appear to be photos of lentil, but it's not clear where exactly they were taken. I want to look at those pictures later. And we can skip this animation, it looks like, but right now I think it's really cool, so I'm not going to skip it. Oh, okay, so there's Balfour up there. Oh, I missed the two, those two. Um, and he turned around right as I was taking the picture, because of course he did. Take a picture of that doof real quick. Is that any Molga? Thought I saw a Molga. Um. So it looks like oh, there's something I can scan. Oh, right here. Charred fruit is on the ground. Okay, there's a picture of that. There's the Molga again. Um. Okay, so I couldn't take a picture of it because it's a scan. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a... Wormful there. Okay, and last time, a Dodrio ran and jumped down from here. So I want to be ready to take a picture if it does it again. And I was too slow. 
Oh wow. Oh, there's Ducklet here now. Rookie is too fast. Wow, it's... I want to speed up the camera, I guess, because it's so slow right now. Uh, there's something to scan over here. Where? What is there to scan? Oh, up here? This fruit grows in lentil. Tang growth love them. There's another thing to scan? Wait, what? Ugh. Pootoo has an unusual way of sleeping, always on one foot. Okay. It's so hard to, like, look around and take pictures, because everything moves so much. You almost have to, like, memorize the route, I feel like. Come on, Taylor. React to the camera. No? Okay. Um, there's a Baufalant up there. Um. Yeah, 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 I know it's time. Oh, the floor just is a different color this time. Okay, we'll see how well we did. It's really hard to move the camera and take pictures. I want to speed it up, I think. Okay, welcome back. Make any new discoveries? I think so. We'll see. So, Balfour. There's one three-star picture. Ah, it tells you right here. Like, right here, where the better pictures are. So, this is a three-star picture, so I'll pick that one. With Dodrio, this is a two-star picture. With Bidoof, I have two one-star pictures. I'm going to pick this one. With Pichu, a one-star picture. With Wormpole, that's a two-star picture. Swana, only a one-star picture. With Magikarp, one star. With Ducklet, uh, only a one-star. With Talo, it's still a one-star. I'd rather keep the other picture. With Grookey, um, they're both from behind. This one's probably better, though. And with Florgis, this is a two-star picture, so I'm going to grab that one. Um, for Bidoof. Ah, uh, okay, that's how you compare. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I would like to show the professor all these pictures. Okay, well now let's see what you got. So, Balfoulin, this is a two-star, oh, three-star picture. So, it looks curious about, what about? I wonder, nice going. This wasn't a bad shot at all. Thank you. 3,000. It's a gold star. Okay. <clears throat> Dodrio, two-star picture. Ooh, 4,000. Two good stars. Or two diamond stars, I mean. Bidoof. Is this a better picture? Uh, doesn't look like it's a better picture. Oh, it is better. Gold star. Okay. I'll keep the new photo. With Pichu. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be better. No, it's not better. We're, we're keeping this one because it's a better picture. Warm bowl, two star photo. Background didn't have a good so two gold stars. The Swana we had one gold star. The 
the size is better, direction is worse, placement is better. A better one, so we'll go with this one to keep. Magikarp, um, this one's closer, so it should be a better picture. And we have some Ducklet in the picture, so it should be a lot better. Yeah, only by 400 points, so we'll keep it. Ducklet. New yep, Ducklet is a new Pokemon. So gold star for Ducklet. It's not bad at all. Grookey. I don't know if this will be better. The sizes will be better though. Direction is better. Placement's better. Yeah, still bronze star, so not that great, but we'll keep it. From Florgis, this is a two star. Size, direction, placement, other Pokemon, background, two gold stars. Okay. So we're about three quarters of the way through level two. If we keep this up, we'll learn all kinds of things, not three quarters, one third. Uh, look this way. Okay. By the way. Thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Yeah, sure, we'll save the photos to an album. Um, I want to keep this one. Wait, 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 there's a faster way to save. Um, anything that's like a gold star, I want to keep, I think. Um, I'm going to keep that Dodrio picture. And this Florges picture, and this Balvolent picture, I think. And then we'll return to the camp. Put Professor Mir, a Pokemon professor active in Lentil. After his research into the Illumina ph phenomenon was recognized, he was authorized to conduct a survey of the entire region. That's pretty cool. Basically, he encountered something and got the chance to explore the whole place. Your photography, your photography seems to be going well. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Hopefully you'll get to see one of Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step towards my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the Legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No, they're just very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travelog, haven't you? I have not. What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyways, literally a hundred years old. But we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. I wonder if Illumina Pokemon will make their way into... A, a, a game later. That'd be pretty cool. We're gonna go to the park at night, and then I think uh, we'll check out the lab afterwards. A Pokemon professor, professor active in... Oh, we already read this one. So, I wonder if their tips are going to be the same every time. Yeah, this animation is pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so it's nighttime. Oh, there's a score bunny. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a sleeping Balfoilet, so I want to get a good picture of this. There's that. Score Bunny is being weird. There's a Bidoof. the score bunny go okay let's see Murkrow okay any other oh that's a tango oh my controller died okay Ah, uh, that low battery. Okay, well then after this, I guess I'll charge. Okay. There's a Murkrow. 
apparently something I can scan. What's this? The noises are coming from this unnatural bump in the ground. I missed the crystal bloom. Oh well. Um, so that's cool. Oh, there's Torterra. That's awesome. Hi there, Torterra. The Swana is illuminated. There's a Pidgeot. That Swana just vanished. Oh, there's Scorbunny again. Let's see if I can... That's a pretty good image of a hoot hoot, actually. Okay. Can I wake up this guy? That's a pretty good picture. I like that. Okay, let's see what else is there around. I need to remember to... Oh, that's cool. I really wish I had gotten a picture of that swana that was all illuminated. I guess I'll have to redo this level and take that picture. Yeah, hi there, Pincer. Hi, Hoot Hoot. There's a score bunny, there's some combies. Hi there, Torterra. There's Crystal Bloom. Combi, look this way. Thank you. So I got quite a few pictures. I kind of wish you could have more than one at once. Because I feel like getting two three-star pictures is pretty cool. Or maybe a three-star and a two-star. It's kind of hard to redo that. We've got a lot to discuss. But first, let's get your photos evaluated. So we'll start with Score Bunny. We have one two-star Score Bunny there. And one two-star there. And one here. Let's come back to Score Bunny, Balfalent. Um, we're gonna do this picture for Balfalent. For Murkrow, we have a three star in this one. For Tangrowth, we only got one star. For Combi, we have a two star. For Caterpie, that's a four star Caterpie picture? Okay, sure. For Pinsir, we have a two star Pinsir picture. For Torterra, we only have one star pictures of Torterra. That's kind of annoying, actually. We'll do this one, I guess. For Swana, it's a three star. I wish I could have gotten a closer picture of it. We'll take this one. For Hoot Hoot, we'll take this one. For Pichu, I guess I have to do that one. For... Ducklet, that's a one, I'll pick it. And we have a picture of Crystal Bloom. Yeah, um, I'll take this one, I guess. And now we need to pick the Score Bunny picture. I think we'll do this one. Okay, let's figure it out. See how well I did at night. Let's have a look. So for Score Bunny... Yep, new discovery for Score Bunny. Two stars. The size should be pretty good. Placement, other Pokemon, Balfalent's in there. So two gold stars. That's nice. For Balfalent, two star photo. Perfect. Um, direction placement, other Pokemon, 80. Two gold stars again. For Murkrow, 
There's two Pokemon in here. And three star direction placement of the Pokemon. The background is good. Three diamond stars. So that's a perfect photo. Ten growth. This is just only a one star. So size is good. Direction placement was pretty good. Background. Ooh, it's a diamond star. Okay. I'm glad. Combi. This is a two star photo. So. Background was kind of bad. Two gold stars. For Caterpie, this Caterpie was pretty far away, so I'm kind of surprised it was a four-star photo. Other Pokemon 33 background. Yeah, it's four bronze stars, so not the greatest. Pinsir, this was, what, two stars, I think? Pose. Yep. Size is good, direction's bad, placement, background, two gold stars. Yeah. And then Torterra. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. So the pose is good. Size is good, direction's good, placement, other Pokemon's good, background is good. So diamond star. Okay. I think my goal for this is going to be um, to get as many diamond stars as possible. Uh... Because after a while, you're, you're, that's your, just your goal, to finish the photo decks getting all diamond stars. So that's going to be my goal for this series, I think. So there's Pidgeot. Placement, other Pokemon in the background. So this is two silver stars. Hoot Hoot. So this is a two star Hoot Hoot. Size, direction, placement, zero Pokemon, background, two gold stars. Okay. This Pichu photo, 500. Size is worse. Direction's good. So this is worse overall. Okay. We're going to keep this one because it was a diamond. So 500. Size is small, so it's not going to be good. Yeah, it's a lot worse. Okay, we're going to keep this one. Crystal Bloom. New photo. This is a Florio Island Crystal Bloom that glows what we call the Illumina Phenomenon. I learned how the Illumina Phenomenon works by studying these flowers. Okay. Let's see how much expedition points we got. Oh, not quite to level 2. We're just getting started with this after hours research. Good luck out there. I know you can do it. Together with friends, you got to score 500 points or more in the other Pokemon category during a photo evaluation. You got a profile icon. You went on your first expedition tonight. Okay? You got a profile icon. You registered a Florio Island Crystal Boom to your photo decks. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Okay, let's. I'm going to quickly go through and save photos to the album. Specifically the ones that I liked. Um, I really like this picture. And this picture. And the rest... I don't really care too much about. Let's do this one. Okay. So we'll return to camp. Research camera, a camera developed by Professor Mir for researching Pokemon. It links to the Neo 1, allowing you to use the camera to access the vehicle's different features. The camera can transmit and analyze data, and it serves as a high-tech ID card. That's pretty cool. Okay, voice acting done. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Its source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests that we've got here is... An Illumina Pokemon? We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? It also I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the, the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. Ah, uh, I want to go see too. You can watch it through the monitor with me, Rita. Please head out as soon as you're ready. 
Okay, and then just quickly, I want to look through the lab real quick, since I haven't done that yet. This is the professor's lab. Not that it's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, you can check your photo decks. Okay, That's the encyclopedia record you've been building with the photos you're taking. Isn't it cool getting to put together your very own photo decks? Next, there's your space. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. Okay, Your album is for photos you want to keep but not put in the photo decks. Okay. You can edit your album photos in some cool ways, too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Did you cover what we can do on the internet? Oh yeah, that was it. If you want to use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer a nice job by giving the photo a little, little digital medal. They're called sweet medals. Give, give all you want. People love getting them. That's right. You can also see other photographers' rankings in each score category. All right. I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it all out quick. Don't be shy. Try everything out. Okay, so we have two notifications, so I'll look at the photo decks real quick. You can take up to 72 picked photos per research session. Okay, so here's my photo decks. Uh, Pokemon. Show me a photo of a Pokemon to make a page for it. On that page, you can move your pointer over the Pokemon and press A to see its movements and hear its cry. If you discover it has other forms, you'll be able to see those here too. Okay. So... Ah, uh, I see. I understand. Okay. So I don't want to edit any of these photos. Oh wait, does it show a difference between male and... Oh, it does show the difference between male and female here. That's cool. Okay, here's Pidgeot. I haven't seen a male Pidgeot, only a female. Um, just gonna go ahead and close all these notifications because I don't like seeing notifications. It's male Tangro, Score Bunny, Balfalant. We've managed to get three pictures of Balfalant. Uh, Grookey. Okay, Florgis. So yeah, there's tons of versions of Florges. Ducklet, Magikarp, Noteworthy Behavior, Smooth Swimming, On Alert, A Bit Unusual, Hurry Hurry. They all have captions underneath, that's cool. Where's it going? On Alert, Hurry Hurry, Nice and Calm, Noteworthy Behavior. You can enlarge it. Oh, that's cool. In flight, it's kind of interesting that Combi can fly. It's just a bunch of flowers. And then there's the Amolka. I want to try to get a better picture of Amolka later. There's the Meadowform Bivalon, Pikachu, Combi, Hoot Hoot, Pinsir, Murkrow. Okay, I think we've gone through all the photos. Yep, the map. Here you can view information about courses you've researched. Pokemon and objects of interest are marked on the map so you can look back on your trips. So if I look at this... Oh wow, so many notifications. So as soon as you start... Um, okay, so it just basically shows you all the Pokemon that we've seen. Okay. So this is helpful... Because it shows us exactly what Pokemon are where when we start, which is nice, because then it's not hard to figure out where Pokemon come from. So this is probably going to be very important after our first mission to look at. And then Knight should also do something similar. Yeah, so Score Bunny is there. It just basically shows us where everything is that we need to check out. So, and then Objects of Interest. Crystal Bloom. That's a floral crystal bloom. 
Our Institute's logo was designed after this flower. We've only recently learned what makes them glow. There's still so much to learn about them. Okay. So this is, so far, pretty interesting. Um, we'll see what else happens later. Um, so far, this game is very interesting. We've only done three photo sessions, and I definitely want to try to get all the diamond um, places. All the, all the diamond stars. We'll look at MySpace later, um, and the internet, and we'll look at the research camp later too. But anyways, thanks for watching.